So let's talk about timer bots. Now these are a pretty handy feature for streams that will post reminders in chat. That's the thing you see that's saying, hey, don't forget to like or subscribe or, or follow if you're streaming on Twitch or reminders about, hey, here's our Discord, whatever. So there's different, there's so many different services you can use for that. One I wanted to revisit was actually Stream Elements. Stream Elements is a cloud-based service that has overlays, bot commands, anything imaginable. They've had timer bots for a while, but I'd actually moved to another solution because it just didn't have a whole lot of features. There was a lot of command overlap, which we'll cover that in a little bit. So the cool thing about cloud bots are that they don't eat any of your PC resources. So whenever you're gaming, the thing about running a local bot like Streamlabs Chatbot, which I love Streamlabs Chatbot, and even though it doesn't seem like it's using a lot of resources at first, whenever someone executes a command or it actually has to do something, there's gonna be a brief spike in your CPU usage. And depending on your resources, how much you have available, what game you're playing, that can actually impact and cause some stutter or something ever so often whenever someone does something like that. So it's certainly something to look at. The more we can get freed up and off of our gaming slash streaming PC, the better. Another good thing about cloud bots are that you just don't have to think about them. They're just instantly going to be there whenever you go live. It's one less thing they have to turn on and start up. And one of the biggest things for console users, so if you stream directly from an Xbox or a PlayStation, you can do basically all the same things a PC streamer can without needing a PC. So you can take advantage of loyalty points or any of that stuff. So today we're going to cover actual chat timers though. So when we get started, we're going to go to StreamElements.com and we're going to log in with Twitch. The features I'm showing you now are for twitch they do have a youtube bot but it's it's running way behind on what they have for twitch right now like they don't have loyalty points or something like that so in the left hand pane you'll see all your options here this is where we're going to configure that but if you've never used stream elements chatbot before the first thing you want to do is you'll go over here after there'll be a little tutorial and you'll have it join your channel now I don't have the option to have part channel because it's already in my channel, but you'll click that it'll join your channel and then you can start telling the bot. Okay. Here's what I want you to do. So for timer commands that we're talking about here, left hand pane, here's your bot section. We're going to go down to timers. Here's a pre-configured timer I made. You can add a new timer if you want. Here's one cool thing. The biggest problem I had, with the stream elements chatbot in the past, which several other people may have run into. So you would come in here, you would add a new timer. You're like, okay, every 20 minutes, I wanted to post a link to my YouTube. Every so often, I wanted to post a link to my Discord or remind people to follow. Well, the problem with that is you had to time it. You had to try to get it at proper intervals where, okay, I want this one to fire off you know, every 20 minutes and this many lines of chat, I want this one to fire off every 15 minutes. And you would have to sit here and think and try to plan out so that they didn't overlap. And no matter what you did, at some point, the longer your stream goes, the more overlap you're gonna have. So you'll have times where you would have, you know, maybe two or three even timer commands just spam your chat at the same time because they happen to overlap. And that was a huge pain and that was a huge problem that really drove me away from using this. And I only recently discovered that. So if you haven't used this since about February of 2020 is when I believe they added this feature and I just hadn't kept up or paid attention to it. So let's go ahead and look at one I've already done. You'll go in here. Now this magic feature is just add message. And I wish this has been here all along. It's amazing because you can literally just create one timer. Most of us are only going to need one timer and then the interval. So we'll go through this. Some of you are probably already familiar with this. So you just set your interval. Okay. Online interval. When, when chat is when I'm streaming, when chat's here, 
know, I've got this set for every 20 minutes. You want you don't want to go too crazy for it. Just kind of gauge how long your streams are typically, and maybe bump that number up depending on it, because those can get pretty annoying. You don't want to you don't want to annoy your chat users. There's an offline interval if you want to have that. I probably need to just turn that off now. If for some reason, if anybody happens to swing by your channel, whenever you're offline and you want to try to catch their eye with something, you can have an offline interval. You don't have to use that at all. Most people probably won't chat lines. How many, how many previous chat messages? I mean, if there's, if there's nobody in your chat or there's just, you know, one person in your chat, just saying something ever so often, you may not want them to sit here and have to, you know, see the same messages over and over again, but. This will help if you set a decent interval. So here's the main feature, add message. So you'll type the message. This is what will actually show up in your chat on that interval. So you said every 20 minutes, it's gonna do this. They used to not have this section here. So now you can just keep adding messages to that interval. And the way this works is it will just rotate to the next. So we'll have one, it'll post this, also streaming on YouTube. It'll wait 20 minutes and it'll work down to the next one in this list. So mind blowing. Why, why has this not always been a feature? This is freaking amazing. It's so simple yet so amazing and so handy because now we don't have to think, we don't have to sit here and try to do this stupid, you know, schedule it like, Oh no, these are going to overlap this many times you don't have to, you never have to worry about overlaps again. You just keep adding this list as many as you want. I don't know if they have a limit. If they have, I haven't run into it. So you just keep adding these and it will just work through these. So do that, do that, add all you want, click save, you're done. That's it. I mean, what? why this hasn't been a feature all along, I have no idea. So there's so much you can do with this. There's all these other commands. Of course, that's not what this video is about. You can poke through here, see. So again, if you haven't checked out Stream Elements chatbot in the past year, I recommend you revisit it because I was I was pleasantly surprised that just not not a complete overhaul, but a few of the handy little changes like that that they've done. Now we can go ahead and hop into the YouTube side while we're here if we want to, and just see what they're doing show you what I'm talking about. So YouTube, they officially have YouTube support, but it's really stripped down. So it does look like you have, see, you have fewer modules, but they will post, you know, little alerts in there. You've got your regular chat commands, have some spam filters, and then you have timers. So they have added that in here. Okay, cool. So good to know. So on the YouTube side as well, if you want something to do a chat timer, um, you can do that. I know, so for a cloud based bot for YouTube, I, I do recommend stream elements chatbot. I've noticed stream labs for widgets and stuff seem to have better support for YouTube, but their bot, I have trouble with their cloud bot ever joining the channel. It's really inconsistent. It seems like most days it just won't even join the channel. So I just can't count on it. Stream elements chatbot for YouTube. I have noticed it consistently for me has joined the channel every time. So if you're looking for a good, reliable cloud-based timer bot, looks like they've, they've kept up on the features on it for feature parity with YouTube as well. So I can totally wholly recommend this for Twitch or YouTube for your timer commands. It's a, it's a really handy, convenient way. Now you can do it like we were talking about. You can do it without having to, you know, worry about spamming your users a whole lot at one time, you know, every so often. So anyway, I hope this has been helpful someone if you have any questions don't hesitate to comment below and um, i'll reply as soon as i can i'm usually pretty responsive about that if you want to catch me and hang out sometime i stream on classic caleb streams it's a separate youtube channel i, I kind of split that off so so those of you that you know don't really want you know game stream notifications because i mean come on everybody's trying to everybody wants to stream video games and i understand a lot of people you know, they don't want notifications for something like that. And we have a Discord. You can check out classiccaleb.pro. Website has tons of resources. It's got, you know, my schedule, when I'll be on, you know, link to the Discord, uh, bot commands for whenever you hop into 
a live chat or something, feel free. I'm usually playing a game of some sort, but you can hop in and we'll talk streaming. Any questions you want to troubleshoot some stuff you're trying to do? Anyway, I hope this helps somebody. Have a great day.